Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to more Survival Fountain of Youth. I am out here on my catamaran right now because today we're going to be talking about sailing. So what better place to start this than just out on the water? But we got a lot to talk about today, and we're going to start off talking about what vessels you can now create in the game. So, it's time to go to shore. Currently in the Early Access, you have three different types of ships that you can use. These are the raft, the canoe, and the catamaran. Now we know that there is at least one more, if not more than that, because we have seen a bigger wooden sailing ship, like a sloop or something along that lines. But uh, for each one of these types of ships, you will also have three tiers of that type of ship. And that is what we are going to talk about right now. First off, we can build a raft. This has 3,000 durability. It comes with a spot to fish. It comes with a basic bed of leaves. And to build it, it takes two common logs, two long sticks, two liana rope, five narrow leaves, and one process tide. But this won't keep you for long, uh, for long, so let's wander over to our next dock, and we will look at the improved raft. So this has 3,500 durability, and the basic bed of leaves has been made into this nicer one. And we have also gained a box in which to store some stuff. Now if we want to build this, it's going to take us four small sticks or three long sticks to upgrade from the basic raft to the improved raft. Now let's take a look at the final raft, which is the solid raft. It has a durability of 4,000. Once again, it has a couple upgrades here, including the box, which is now like sealed and insulated. This way we can keep food in there and it won't go bad as quickly. We also have this basket. This is an awesome thing. This is for hauling logs and a variety of other things, but primarily logs. So say you wanna go chopping down a forest somewhere and you could take this raft, sail it over to that island, chop to your heart's content, toss everything back into this basket, sail back over here, go over there, and just make whatever you need. This is wonderful for moving around big logs. To make it, we're going to have to have an additional two split logs, one liana root, and three wide leaves. Up next, we're gonna take a look at our canoes. So we're just gonna wander down my beach here. Part in the mess, I haven't cleaned all of it up yet. All right, basic canoe is 6,500 durability. And it comes with the second level of bed. And it comes with a uh, already insulated small box. So you want know not too shabby. It takes two split logs, six small sticks, 15 tree bark, two dried hides, three liana ropes, and five narrow leaves. I have to say, it doesn't take long to get into the canoe, and you could actually probably skip the raft if you wanted to, or the canoe, but there is a reason why you probably want to have at least one raft around, and I will cover that in a minute. All right, here we go. This is the improved canoe. Oh, the, the basic canoe, I can't remember if I said it, but it has a durability of 6,500. The improved canoe, on the other hand, has a durability of 7,250. And the uh, only change on this one is the small box has been turned into a large box. So this has a lot more storage capacity. And once again, it is able to hold foods so they don't spoil. Oh, and both of these also have the fishing thing. All of the ships have the fishing thing, so I'm not gonna even mention it anymore. To upgrade to this improved canoe, you need an additional, additional liana rope and an additional three wide leaves. All right, last up in this series of docks is the solid canoe. So the solid canoe has a durability of 8,000 and it has this same big box, but they've moved it because they needed room for a little tent on the deck, which is awesome. So now we have a little tent on our deck which will provide cover from 
things like the rain and the wind and all that stuff. So instead of sleeping out in the elements, we now have some shelter. To make the solid canoe, it will take an additional four long sticks, two big branches, and two dried hides. And finally, we have the big boys of the early Axis, and these are the catamarans. The starting catamaran has 10,000 durability. It comes with, obviously, the fishing thing. It comes with a green box. You can see it under there. That's a large green box. And it comes also with a sleeping area up here with the green leaves, the, the wide leaves. So that's a second level sleeping area. To build it, this is a list, so get ready. Two copper ingots, two wooden planks, three dried hides, two seaweed fabrics, and three ropes made out of skin. Now, if that isn't enough for you, we still have a couple more options, including the catamaran with uh, a fireplace. So this is, uh, so hang on, uh, 1100 durability, so a thousand more durability. But overall, it's pretty much the same as the other one, except for the fact that it has a cooking area on it. Specifically, this is the one for doing all the advanced cooking. So this is a tier three cooking pot. And to get that tier three cooking pot, you basically oh, need not to fall in the water. All right, to get that tier three cooking pot, you basically need what you need to make that item. An additional five small sticks, three massive stones, one fired pot, and three long sticks. And if a place to cook is not enough, well, what about a place to live? The catamaran with a cabin is just that. It now has a cabin instead of just the bed of leaves. But not only that, it is also tossed on an extra place of storage with this small storage box made out of the leaves. So now you have extra storage, all of which can be holding food, and you have a place to survive out from the elements. As with the uh, the improved, this has an additional 100, uh, sorry, 1,000 durability. It's at 12,000 durability. And to make it, it will require four long sticks, two big branches, two dried hides, one liana root, and three wide leaves. So that currently is all the different things that you can build chip-wise in-game. Up next, we're going to take a couple of these out and just uh, see how sailing is now. Because you know what? That's changed as well. Okay, so we are currently out in the water. I'm on my catamaran here. Uh, avoid the rocks. And we are cruising around just like you normally would on one of these adventures. Now, things have changed ever so slightly with sailing. The basic controls are still the same. W, A, S, D, forward, back, turn left, turn right, all that jazz. Um... So that is the same. Where things have changed is having to do more with the map and the area and how you get around the area while uh, at sea. So if we look at the map here, you can see that we are over here and we are just north of the Island of Hope. And this is our kind of local area map. This is the island that we are on. We're kind of cruising out to this little island right over here. And there are a lot of smaller islands that are now spread around the bigger islands that contain, you know, trees and coconuts, maybe some rocks and stuff like that. You know, light resources, places you can go and grab some stuff if you need it. So we can travel around this area right around the map, and that's perfectly fine. Now, there are some things that are just a little bit further away from the island, but are in the region. So what we're going to do here, we can either click on this pictograph up here to the left, or we can right click to zoom out a little bit. And now we are in the map for the bird region. You can still see this one island that we're headed for, but also over here we have the Lonely Rock. It's a nice, interesting rock formation, and yeah, part of the story stuff a little later on. So... We're going to kind of cruise through this area 
and you can cruise anywhere you want to inside of the region. It will allow you to go from one area to another. So this is that small island I was talking about. And we could go over there and we could pick up some coconuts or something if we wanted to. But we're going to turn away now. We're going to start headed towards the uh, Lonely Rock out here. Now, the Lonely Rock is actually its own little area inside the region. So once we get close enough to the Lonely Rock, if we will look at our map, it will change from us being at the Island of Hope, which we're still at, to us being by the Lonely Rock. So there are multiple small map areas inside of the regional map area now. And you can sail to any of them without doing anything special. There's no more clicking or opening the map and then clicking on a target and then just watching your ship slowly inch across with a little dotted line like it's making progress. All the while you're staring at these three bars at the bottom of the screen that are in emptying out insanely fast and you're going, oh geez, I didn't bring out enough food, I'm gonna die and then I'm gonna have to start all over. Sailing is a lot more forgiving now, especially with your resources that you're gonna use. You get places a lot faster, especially in your own region. So here we are, like I said, in our own region, but once again, now we're in the local area of the Lonely Rock. You can zoom out to the region and you can see here we are lonely rock up here a couple of other things in this region but you know not to give anything away but what if say we want to go to some larger islands like i said before you would open the map and you would click on a thing and you would watch yourself die as you slowly made your way across the ocean not the case anymore we're going to right click one more time and this will kick us out to the global map Currently, we are in the bird region. We all know why it's called that. We are going to be going to the buffalo region. I'm going to let you guys figure out why it's called that. So if we click on the buffalo region, we will see all this stuff in here. And we're just going to go to this travel point right here. This is just like if we were to sail to that area. Now to unlock the ability to travel to a different region, you must first do one of three things. The first thing is you have to create, uh, sorry, the first thing you can do is get through the story to the point where you can open up that region. The second thing you can do is find hidden pieces of ancient maps that will tell you about the next region. So far, there have only been five, so I'm assuming you're gonna have five pieces that you will need to find. And lastly, uh, you can get to a new region if you create a certain vessel. In this case, you could go to the next region as soon as you create the canoe. Okay, so here we are. We have arrived in the Buffalo region, as you can see. We're going to cruise over here to Copper Island because there's more to say about getting around and traveling on the high seas. So yeah, this is this is the catamaran. This thing is quite nice. And I already have a little base out here on what is called the Copper Island. This is one of the uh, very first locations you're going to head to uh, once you leave the region, uh, the, the bird region. But there are also a couple of other islands over there. You have the Windy Island and you have the Red Island. But we are going to come over here and we are going to head over to this dock that I have at my little satellite camp on Copper Island. Oh, look at that. A bird. Just in case you guys thought you were rid of him. Nope, not the case. All right. So here we are. Like I said, it's a little satellite base here on Copper Island. This is where, <clears throat> not giving too much away, this is where I mine copper. Hence the name. It has it has some copper here. So not big giving that up. The other way that we can travel is if we hop on our ship here. All right, we'll hop on our ship. We'll hit F to take uh, the helm. And then here we are going to hit E to sail away. And this is kind of what you did before. The difference is now is 
you can now fast travel to any docks that you have created on any island. So here we are on Copper Island. What we're going to do is we're going to click over here on the Windy Island. It's going to take us 41 minutes. That's less than our normal duration because we have a super fast catamaran. We're going to click here. And now we are at the dock we have created over here on the Windy Island. So this allows you to go to and from islands if you wish, obviously. You know, it's super fast, like, so you can go and, like, grab some resources, come back, and do what you need to do. Now this will also allow you to switch between regions. So we're going to take the helm. We're going to say sail away. We'll zoom out the map, and now we'll click on the uh, bird region. Then we'll click on the Island of Hope to zoom in. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it all the way back to where we park this catamaran at this little dock over here. So we're going to click here. It's going to take us two hours, which is a lot faster than five. I'm telling you, catamarans are awesome. And this will put us basically docked right where we first started this voyage at the catamaran dock. So that's the new way of fast traveling between the different areas. And obviously you need to ship first because you need to get to an island and you need to build a dock on that island. So you can't just fast travel to anywhere right off the bat. You have to get there and you have to build the infrastructure that allows you to do the fast traveling. So we are once again, boop, 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 boop. park. <laughs> Oops. Okay. We're once again, back on the Island of hope over by my little house. And so this is where we are going to end this episode, guys. These are all the different changes that have come from the new boats and the new sailing mechanics. Oh, hang on. We're not going to end because I wanted to tell you which one of these boats are kind of my favorite. If you are doing harvesting of resources, and this is a big thing here, the catamaran has this log basket container thing as does the tier three raft. None of the other vessels have any of those log baskets. So if you are going on a log run, you will need the level three raft or the level three catamaran. And the level three raft is actually a really nice one, especially for just around here on the Island of Hope. But this will be the last thing. And I want to show you off my favorite boat and it's the level three canoe and it's because this thing is quite fast i mean this is it going in reverse okay this thing is so fast that it can do things that you probably should not be able to do in game we're going to pick up a lot of speed here and then we are going to intentionally capsize ourselves by turning our boat so incredibly fast that we roll ourselves over. <laughs> and with that, I am going to leave that and we are going to end this episode. Like I said, these are all the changes that have happened with the ships and with the maps. I hope you enjoyed it and got some information out of it. If you have any questions regarding these vessels or the new sailing changes please ask them down below if you have a question about survival fountain of youth that is not related or if you have suggestions for a future video of what you would like me to cover make sure you leave those down below as well and as always please guys give this video a like and sub uh, subscribe to the channel because i'm making these videos because i think you all will enjoy it by doing the likes and the subscribes, I will know that this is content that you guys want to uh, partake of and learn from, and I will continue making it. So thank you guys very much, and you guys have a wonderful time on the Island of Hope, or the Copper Island, or any of the other islands in Survival Fountain of Youth.